In this video, I'll turn a boring 2D image like this into an eye-catching 3D animated video in CapCut. This effect can make your documentaries and other edits way more engaging. So let's get started. First, we need an image. I use the flow state feature in Leonardo AI for this. You can customize the lighting, color themes, and other settings in this section. I set everything to automatic and adjusted the ratio to 16 to 9. Just type your idea, hit generate, and let the magic happen. Sometimes flow state gives weird images like this, but don't worry, just keep scrolling down and you'll definitely find some cool cinematic images. I've already downloaded some images to use as examples. Now, to create the 3D effect, we need to separate the character from the background. This effect works by moving each layer at different positions and sizes, a technique known as the parallax effect. To do this, I head over to Photo Room's object remover. I upload the image and draw over the character until it's fully covered. I really like this star floating effect. Once the character is removed, I download it. Next, I use Photo Room's background remover. Upload the same image, and within seconds, the background disappears. All right, now for the fun part. Animation. Let's jump into CapCut. Import the background image and character PNG, then drag them onto the timeline. First, select the background layer. Go to the beginning of the clip and add a transform keyframe. Now, move to the end of the clip and increase the size to around 115% for a smooth zoom effect. Next, select the character layer, add a transform keyframe at the beginning, and just like before, adjust its size at the end of the clip. This time, make it bigger than the background, around 135%, to enhance the depth effect. Now, head to the effects section and search for Play Pendulum. Drag it onto the background layer and tweak the settings. Set twist to zero, strength to five, and speed to 10. And I noticed this comment in my last video. This one's for you. When you add effects like rebound swing or play pendulum, sometimes it reduces image quality. A quick fix? Add some sharpening, but don't crank it up too much. It won't be a 100% fix, but it helps. Now apply the same play pendulum effect to the character layer, but adjust strength to 10 and speed to around 15 for a smoother motion. To make the scene more alive, I'm adding a spark effect to the background. And here's the final result. And that's it. Now you've got an epic 3D animation from just a simple image. Pretty cool, right? If this helped, don't forget to click those magical buttons under the video. They actually make me edit faster. And if you want to learn more awesome tricks like this, check out this video right here. All right, I'm out. See you in the next one.